Monumentality would be a total waste. I'm actually going for Exodus because I have Revelation on and that extra four profit points per turn means that I get a religion and getting a religion is a really handy thing because I could get Defender of the Faith and keep myself a little bit happier. There's heavy chariots coming in. I'm trying to rush stirrups as quickly as my little mitts will allow. Oh, oh, Scythia moved the horsemen there because they think it's safe, but it's not safe at all. And let's go double great generals quickly. Put two votes into that. Go for scientific city state. Yeah, why not? Why not? Do it, do it. Religious, no great profits. Oh, the game trolled me. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> I literally just picked my golden age. Who did that? Who did that? Oh, Scythia did that. And my two supposed friends as well. May I just point out? Oh, jammy. That is so jammy. I am actually pretty impressed that they did that. Like, there's a small element of me that's like, yeah, fair play. Oh, this is it. This is an opportunity. Yes, Germany is actually losing a city to loyalty and it's got the Great Bath in it. I'm going to take this. Three cities are totally fair game. I'm going to take this profit card off. That's useless. But Bastions is a little bit better. Urban planning will be replaced by natural philosophy. Colonization is going to be replaced by builders for now. Yeah, that'll all do. And you can see my city is going to attack a little bit stronger than it did before. Plus five. Yeah, that'll take it. That'll do. And one more city down below my capital with my last charge of my merchant waiting by to pick up that incense tile to stop Leventa from getting it. You gotta love it. You gotta love a plan. That builder's gonna chop in and get that iron stat. And also now, Savia, um, you have Jerusalem on you. <laughs> so I want to push my advantage whilst I am in a golden age. So I'm actually going to denounce Germany. Sounds weird. But if I can get a formal war with an ally like Grand Colombia, which would be awesome, I can start to put proper pressure on them with a nice big joint war. Look, now Scythia is attacking with their horsemen. Now that my walls are bastion defended. Why would you do that? Such a bad move. Um, and also now another library, which is another beautiful plus four science library. Excellent stuff. Oh. There we go. The cities are starting to grow now. It's a very, very slow process. But once you get it going, eventually the rewards begin to get reaped. Don't mind me if I pick up a knight. That's uh, 49 strength cities now. So, you know, get stuffed. Oh, Scythia. Is that a settler? I think I probably will help myself to that if you don't mind. And <laughs> yoink. Thank you so much. You know what? I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot because I can't put the government plaza down there now, can I? Can I? <laughs> because, because I put a city down like a fool. Okay, so if I put campus there, then I could put Casa back down on my original spot, which would have been like there. I will, I will sort myself out. One day I will come up with a brilliantly, you know, perfect arrangement of cities that don't involve me just screwing myself over so much. One day. Oh, I forgot to unclick the campus. Ah, oh, I went on the wrong tile. Never mind. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. There's education. Okay, good. I can start to get universities in. Six science each. It's a big bonus. Ooh, well said. Fantastic. Forms a core out of a military land unit. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. If you go with chop and you go with chop like that. Perfect. Now swap back and build ourselves a beautiful government plaza. Lovely. Here we go. Opportunity. An opportunity arises. It's flipped without me needing to do anything, which is relatively amusing. But I'll get my horsemen in to attack. Uh, this warrior actually can go mana arms, which I'm going to do. That's lovely. Got the knight following shortly behind. We should have plenty of attack power to take this on. Well, this is quite fun. Oh, because it's three cities, I get plus 10 combat strength against them. Hey, 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 Mapuche doing what Mapuche does best. I'm just going to get my knight to wander over. And this will be a 40 loyalty strength hit, I believe. No, 20. 20, because it's not in a... Uh, golden Age. But I'm not going to take city centers over, like, with, you know, with attacks. We're going to actually do this properly and just loyalty flip them all. That's my, that's my hope anyway. I think Grand Columbia is not going to be super happy that I've settled aggressively next to them, but they are my ally. So, you know, what are they going to do? You settled too close. Yeah, I'll take another Diplo favor jump from you. 
That sounds brilliant. Even better, I can actually pillage some science from this uh, city-state that I'm just about to take. Not city-state, three-city, whatever it is. How does Grand Columbia feel about Germany? They really don't feel good. Do you like a joint war? Oh, they absolutely would. So let's be military allies. Perfect. Now I think I'm going to bank in on my strategy of being really, really good combat-wise. Um, so, I mean, oligarchy would be a fun bonus, but it's only on melee troops. Oh, why did you do that? No, 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 no. Um, yeah, it's only on melee troops. I'm thinking Classical Republic probably is the better one to stick into for the extra ability to be happy near enemies and, and doing that sort of sense of stuff. So, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of hold this for now. What I want to do is find Germany in a position. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to put loyalty pressure on them and I want to do it really, really just, oh, really want to. So that is Magdeburg. Well, have you pronounced that? But it's not my city. That's the main important thing, which means if I put myself a governor into that city like Magnus, hopefully, hopefully this city will now have 15% extra culture production and yeah, the 10% experience in combat for all units trained in this city. So that's 30%. So that's really awesome. So what I need to do in this city is turn it into a bit of a productive powerhouse. I can do that. I'm going to be in a brilliant position, I think. I'm making industrial zones. I'm thinking it'd be really nice dams as well. I mean, that's a good opportunity for a dam over there, which is good because if I were to go aqueduct on this tile and then dam on that tile, I'd be able to go industrial zone on this tile. That would be a nice plus five. I could also then do a lovely aqueduct and then have another industrial zone there. Oh, yes, that is a combination that I like. OK, perfect. Well, once we're done there, then get that industrial zone sorted. Another unique improvement. Ooh, five culture per turn on that one. That's awesome. This is actually turning into a very cultural city. I'm actually going to declare war on this city-state a bit randomly, but I, I'm looking to declare war on Germany very soon. And at the moment, the city-state has got a lot of troops in this sort of middle ground that is, you know, could cause me some problems. So we're just going to push my army forward a little bit, take on the city-state as aggressively as we can, clear these units out, and that'll just make me just a little bit more secure when I go to war with Germany. So we're just sort of clearing out the, the little troops to get to the big ones. Merely passing by Germany. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm also just picking up a second university in my second city as well. So we're up to 86 science per turn. It's looking really good. I think I've clawed myself back into this game after a very, very ropey start. But yeah, so far this is doing okay. Now there's a little bit of crossbow incursion going on from the actual city state itself but i think i've just about caught that before it got too bad and as you can see we are doing okay i really want to know what this city is in there and how much population it's got but finding its actual city center is proving impossible oh well what are you gonna do my capital is now nine population look at that lovely make deal form a war with germany let's just do it come on Let's get involved. Let's get going. And I think I can probably rope some other people in here. Dido, do you want to get in? Yeah, you do. Oh, what an ally. And Canada, you know you want in. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, everyone's at war with Germany now, except from Tamara. So this has become a proper world war. We like it. So Frankfurt is there. And loyalty-wise, it's actually doing pretty decently. It's got itself 100 fortification strength, but that's okay. We don't need to worry about that. I don't think I do loyalty damage when I pillage anymore, do I? No, it's just when you kill units. So we're just going to have to run ourselves around a little bit. As you can see, we might be able to get them to attack us with their units rather than the other way around. What will they do? They will attack me in various ways. Actually, that's not too bad. I'm not going to stop me putting the raid card in though, because now I can pillage 132 science, which is a pretty cool thing to do. Pillaging is fun as we all know and love. Feudalism means serfdom and more builder charges, which I love to see. Oh, this city's flipping everywhere now. Look at that. Quito is the next one to want to flip. I've got great uh, people that are just sort of marauding around Germany at the moment, being really, really annoying. But we're in a lovely position where we're putting on some decent pressure. And there's cartography. Now, cartography means I can now build Casa, which I would like to do with great priority. It'll be a difficult build, but if we can pick it up, we will. Oh, I love it when the enemy ranged attacks are not doing enough damage to stop you from just wandering around and pillaging everything. 
sprinting means that I'm harder to kill as well, just in case we didn't have enough advantage as it was. And gunpowder. Yep, let's get military engineering. I think I'm just about to build an aqueduct somewhere though. Seven turns away. Ah, not as close as I had hoped. Okay, well instead, we'll go military tactics first. I'm not likely to get a kill with a spearman because I'm not entirely sure I even know what a spearman still is. Aid request. You know what? No, I don't think I am going to get involved in this. I am a natural disaster. It was me. It was Ursa. Ursa came storming through. All we saw was just Ursa, just like his arms were flailing, shouting, I am the storm. And we kind of all went, all right, sure. A little bit of cheeky uh, city-state play here. I'm going to pillage the Taruga because it's at war with me because it likes Germany. And then I'll put the envoys in to make the... <laughs> and have they forgotten all about it? It's like, yay. As you can see, we're still pillaging, still pillaging. It's all working amazingly. Industrialization is a little bit far off right now, but I could get square rigging. Could get astronomy. Hmm. I like square rigging there, so I think we'll, we'll work on that. My capital is building Casa slowly. It's taking its time, but I, if I can get Casa, I'll be very, very, very grateful. I just switched to monarchy, which is why I just got the castles boost. I'm liking this. Like that was a good, that was a good move for me. But these, uh, as I say, every time my knight gets even close to being killed, I just pillage something else, and suddenly they're better again. World Congress. Okay, I might be able to actually get a religion now if I'm lucky. I'd love it if I could condemn Catholicism though, and I'd love it if we just said amber was a good thing that everyone loves. Why not? It's a wonderful thing. Oh, marble's bad. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not good. See, I heard good things about marble, but clearly. I've been lied to. Still pillaging though, there is square rigging. God, we are boosting through this age so quickly now. Still a bunch of gold in Hamburg. So I'm not attacking the cities directly, but Frank that oh, if they had more troops in this area, I would love to attack them. I really, really would. Oh, instantly builds a university and a library in this district. Yes, that is amazing. I don't think I've got a library in like every oh literally this campus is just about to finish that could not have been timed better what a result oh 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 now see this is quite an exciting thing um no no we'll come to peace in a second but look Saivia now has a city rebelling on the border and oh i could almost attack that um sack a horse archer but alas it's a little strong a bit of damage and actually if i were to somehow get a great general back Alas, they're all kind of at the wrong side of the map, but I was thinking I could probably teleport that over and do some damage, but no, we'll we'll hold off for now. Actually, we might be able to get the kill now. I might be able to do it. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, minus 20 loyalty pressure. That's what we want to see. And this workshop means that industrialization is boosted, and now I can pillage for industrialization. And then after that, I can also put in a three library and a university in this district. 121 science. Perfect. And then this knight can continue pillaging, get itself charged. Oh, my lord, what a turn. What a turn. This is a turn where we realize that pillaging, pillage-based economies, oh boy, are they fun. And woohoo, Guido has flipped to me. You know what? Grand Colombia has been a good ally, ally, but I'm really, really tempted to say that they probably are not going to be my ally for very much longer because I love the look of their cities on my borders. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's always incredibly delightful when you're scrounging around for era score. Hang on, where is it? We've got six turns and we need nine of it. And immediately you see a meal. Oh, here to save me once again. Uh, I don't get era score for inspirations, but I did get one for claiming her. So that's good. Sanitation, metal casting, siege tactics. Ooh, exciting. Don't mind me if I nab the science once again. Military engineering boosted. Well, I have much niter. I have some there. Yeah. Cool, cool. And I, oh, was that some under an industrial zone? Oh, it was. Ah, oh. now here's the thing, right? One of the little minor things I always think with Sith. If you have a strategic resource underneath this industrial zone, it will give an adjacency to the one next to it, but not to itself. I like, I feel like if you settle on top of a strategic and it's an industrial zone, why is it not giving it to itself? It's just mad. Crazy. I mean, it's probably there because it's very exploitable, but you know, what isn't? <laughs> oh, extra stuff. Still pillaging. Absolutely everything must go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, Saivia is doing a thing where they have not secured their army very well, and I might be able to take advantage of this. If I can attack and kill that warrior, that'll be really, really good, but I think it's a little bit strong. If I bring my archer in, I might be able to do like a second hit in a second and then get a kill. But I won't 
I won't attack with a knight just now. If I can get a kill, I will do it. But that will knock this city out and I can flip it immediately. Oh, that's good. Oh, no, they're going to attack me. They're going to attack me. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. That's fine. Well, yeah, look, here we go. Kill this unit. Take 20 loyalty from the city. Flip it faster. Oh, that's what we like to see. Oh, major flood. That's my horseman. Oh, it survived. It survived just. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, okay, right. We're going to just move my horseman out. This is now within range of a Malon Raider upgrade. That's four era score if I do that. I've got three turns left. Gonna be tough. Saying that though, Germany now has a knight. And annoyingly, I've just unfortunately lost uh, all of the combat strength that I would use to take that knight on. Which is a bit of a pain. I might actually peace out with Germany here. I'm going to let them rebuild. I'm not going to take any of these cities anytime soon. Over this city, I would technically be able to take very soon if I can. Maybe I'll just leave it one more turn. But I might let them rebuild, put their campuses back up, make sure that I can go and pillage a second time. Like, I'm not going to go to peace with them permanently. But for now, that might work for me nicely. Oh, I lost my pillaging knight. That's unfortunate. And was that a uh, flood? No, that was an encampment here. Okay, you need to back off quickly. Oh, you're going to move in, are you? Interesting. Okay, we are now one turn away and we still have not got any more hero score. I need eight still. I think we can still do this though. Oh, that's a he's flipped. Amazing. To start with, I'm going to, I think, upgrade my horse to a... Oh, it says to a courser. Oh, of course, the Malon Raider is not part of the promotion tree of a horseman. I have to buy a new one. Right. Okay, that's a bit of a pain. Fine. How much is that as an upgrade? Uh, 920 gold. That's okay. That's not too bad. Okay, let's make the aforementioned piece with Germany. They're going to offer me three gold per turn, but I'd rather take it up front. It's 50. Perfect. And let's go for open borders just so I can have a look and see what's going on in your land. Now, I didn't actually cause them really any proper grievances from what I can tell, apart from the war. Actually, the war with the city-state was technically grievances, so... Yeah, okay, fine. I can take 148 gold off Germany by selling the luxury to them. And I need the gold up front from Dido as well to make this work. Okay, step one. I'm going to take a city with stables, which I do not have. Okay, that's fine. So instead, I'll take the city with an armory, which is this one, and do a, where is it, Malon Raider. Bam, four era score. Next up, I'm going to take this city and buy a quadroom, which is a unit on the seas. And then Jerusalem, I'm going to levy this military, which is two era score. And we have the eight we need. I am a genius. <laughs> Actually, the caravel is useful because I'll be able to circumnavigate the globe next uh, in like two, three turns and that'll be in the next era and we can just rush that as well. So, hey, pretty cool. Oh, I actually could have rushed a great engineer as well. Ah, never mind. Merchant is good. I could get a merchant increases trade capacity by one. I haven't got many great um, merchants. I haven't got many markets, but I do have a few. Golden Age. Okay. Exodus was useless for us last time. It was absolutely useless, but I am close to getting my own religion now, and I really should do that because Canada is still unopposed and they are spreading their religion around. I do not want them to win a religious victory, so I will have to get my own. So, unbelievably, I'm going to go for it again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. It's only Grand Columbia, by the way, that is in a dark age. Now, everyone else is normal, and I believe, unfortunately, that's going to be enough for Germany to pull the loyalty back into those cities. But Grand Columbia will give us opportunities now, including the city down there. Buenos Aires, of course, is a city-state that I could liberate later on. Surplus logistics. I'm really, really going to train this city up. This is going to be my new capital. I mean, I still think this is going to be wonderful. I'm just trying to save up some gold, though. The AI is not really giving me a lot at the moment trade wise i've kind of exhausted all options here but i want to get a factory up in that city i want to build the infrastructure up uh this malum raider is going to be so so useful against Scythia. so i've got siege tactics i don't want to get cavalry yet because my malon raiders are too good and i don't want them to be made redundant so instead Instead, we're going to focus on going for chemistry. Now, that involves going astronomy boosted, banking boosted, metal casting boosted, scientific theories not boosted. That involves getting enlightenment, which I believe I'm only a few away from, and I should be able to pillage my way there. That is a um, profit, which is wonderful. I'm just building a holy site in 
this city. Um, that will be nice when I get that sorted. Boudica might be able to steal some barbarians here if I'm lucky. There is a mana arms. I can get a couple of units. That would be really, really cool. Uh, side on. Ah, yeah, looks like Dido has already settled quite a lot of this coastline. Yeah, problem with Pangaea maps, this is why I really, really like continents and islands maps. There's always more to settle somewhere. Everywhere is a little bit full on this map at the moment, which is a bit rubbish. Never mind. What can you do? What can you do? And this city's going to flip to me very soon, but I can speed it up by using a crossbow. Yeah, look at this, Mapuche, using their ability. You gotta love it. Oh, two man at arms. I'll take that. Yeah, great. Perfect. Okay, we've got more of an army down south now. We can use it to go and settle this area, this lovely tundra. Let's go and rescue that. There you go. Saivia City has flipped to me with all of the error score that comes with it. Beautiful. It's exactly what you want to see. And we're just going to keep an eye out for more opportunities to steal more cities. The world is round. It is. I proved it. Actually, this is an island. That is an island. Well, it looks like, unfortunately, Dido's already settled it, but I have found an island. Now, this Malon Raider has five extra combat strength if it's within four tiles of my territory. Trust me, it will. For quite some time here, let's just get Il Cid to move to there. Lovely, the crossbow is just going to lurk outside, and as you can see, this is a beautiful campus, and bam, we're going to start raiding it. I'm going to go and raid everything I can with that Malon Raider. It's going to be so useful. Oh, they only did seven damage to my Raider. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Continue raiding. We'll get scientific theory sorted pretty quickly. Where else can we go? There's a lovely aqueduct over there. Beautiful. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get my great general to actually move in and uh, fix these things pretty quickly. But this builder is going to distract everyone. I'm happy with this. This raiding effort is actually really cool. We can have a look at alliances as well. Am I going to betray Gran Colombia? I don't know. I've only got a level one alliance. So in theory, we could. So whether or not it's going to give me any real bonus. Now, being able to take these border cities would be super helpful. So I think I'm going to renew my alliance with Canada, renew my alliance with Dido. What sort of districts have they got? It's not a huge amount to plunder. There really isn't a huge amount to actually plunder here. It's Germany. Germany are the ones. And oh my goodness, they've actually fixed things. Or well, some things. Not everything. But this, like, Arken... Arkans actually fixed itself pretty effectively. Now, for now, we have options. Oh, no, they don't want friendship with me. Eh, okay, well, in that case, you have made your, made your choice, I guess. Oh, now you want to be friends. Uh, fine. I've got one more friendship with them. As long as I don't get too buddy-buddy with them, I think it's okay. Now, remember, I want to get a governor in any city that... I didn't initially found because it'll be 15% culture and production. Both of those things are really, really good. So as good as Magnus is, I'm going to pick up now. Let's go for Liang and stick her into this German city. Cass is complete in two turns. Then we can get uh, another governor in Scythia city over there. And I think that's all the captured ones I've got right now. But oh, no, this city technically was not mine as well. Does this one flip? Oh, I don't remember. I actually have no idea if that was my city or not. This one definitely won't be, so that's that's fine. Now yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, and my civics. I've still got raids, still got chivalry. I need to build more horses. That is something I do need to do. But my German city now has a factory. Beautiful. I just need to get Mexico City involved, and this will start to go really quickly now. And Ruhr Valley can finally start to be built. There is my holy site. It is a glorious holy site. And here is my religion. Okay. What are we going to pick? I feel like I said I was just going to roll with the punches and just go for whatever with this religion. And I kind of still like that as an idea. I think we're going to go Jesuit education. And the reason is I haven't done it in a long time. And being able to buy in campus buildings with faith actually sounds really useful. Faith as an asset generally sounds incredibly useful. I could go Defender of the Faith. I could go for pilgrimage. I might go pilgrimage, actually. Um, or, no, thinking about it, I'm actually going to go for missionaries and apostles are cheaper to purchase. That means I can actually get this religion up and running nice and quickly. Let's get the shrine sorted and then we'll get the temple. It's going to be a little bit difficult to spread it around, but as you can see, I can actually get pretty, fee pretty um, cheap faith purchases. There's the university, actually. Oh, that's going to be so good. I want to improve my religion first, though. Let's get that improved. And here goes my horsey horse. La 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 la. Oh, Ulm is being destroyed, I think, by Gran Colombia. 
Yeah, fair play. That's pretty cool. Which city state just went to war with me? Oh no, this one again. Okay, we're gonna have to go and pillage that quickly. Oh, and that city has been destroyed a little bit. But more importantly, there is Kassa. Now, Kassa is gonna give any city with a governor, not on my continent, which is pretty much all of the stolen cities, 15% production, 15% faith, and 15% gold. Stacked with Mapushi's benefit, that should now be 30% production, 15% faith, gold, and culture. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. We're gonna start stacking now. Let's get Rainer in. We'll put you into the Scythian city. And let's get, I think, I mean, we're going to want somebody down there, but it's not super important. But I, I want to get all the governors in for now. So let's get Victor in. Put Victor in down in the Sandy City for now. And then we'll go for Moksha. Put you into that city because technically it is a different continent, I think. Yeah, it is. This city is my continent. That's a bit annoying. Never mind. And seeing as cities are not getting flipped super quickly, we're going to go for amenities and housing that's going to be really really cool but if i just let this city sort itself out you can now see i'm on 30 percent additional modifier all i need to do now is make my cities ecstatic and we'll be there we will officially achieve perfection oh no that volcano is really going for it now oh the population's gone down to three that's not good oh dear more pillaging and which direction i think i'm gonna go in this direction look at this oh this raider unit's so good. Don't mind me while I steal your gold. I'm also going to rush through that temple because I really, really would like to get my apostles and missionaries out as soon as possible. So let's go for one, two apostles, then I'll get three. That'll mean that I can build some inquisitors. Inquisitors I can use to track down these Canadian missionaries and I can use it to spread my religion a lot quicker doing that. One more city! Yay! Okay, I do know that Victor will improve that city because yeah no this is a city that I founded so let's move Victor over to this one. So the trick with any apostle when you've got the golden age the evangelists is that you want to use two of those charges before you pop them. So what we're going to do is three spreads from going next to a natural wonder. Now there should be something near you'd hope. Yeah that no of course it is settled right next to it. I'm an idiot. Um Okay, yeah, let's go for Pilgrim. Perfect. And then we'll go for another Apostle and another Apostle. Don't mind me whilst I continue to pillage your things. Oh, the extra faith. And I've got promotion there as well, which is quite cool. Oh, wonderful. Audience chamber. Perfect. That's going to be a bunch more amenities now spread amongst my empire, which is lovely. Now, humanism means that we're not far away from natural history. That'll get me more as well. I'm pretty sure that no the Colosseum hasn't been built oh that's interesting now ideally I want the Colosseum to be built on a flatland tile that puts my German city within range that would be a good candidate tile so in order to put it there I would need to build the entertainment complex on this tile which actually is going to help to improve my unique uh, building what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start putting my unique improvements on as many of my high appeal tiles as I'm allowed to kind of get to the point where you're like why not? Why not? So there is my pilgrim. Good. To my capital. And let's go and spread. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, this one's a debater. That's good. We wanted at least one debater because this is the one that can be used to take down these Canadian missionaries wherever they are. An extra trade route and then trade routes to city states give me extra faith. That's awesome. I need to start leveling this city up accordingly. I'm just going to save up for the coal power plant in this city and then I'll start getting traders in. Hang on a minute. What do you mean my cities are only three and six in the world? Oh, we're going to have to change that. We're going to have to change that. That's not good enough at all. The war with Scythia is still rolling and raging, but luckily for us, we are doing really nicely here. Attack, attack, attack. They literally cannot get anything to stick on us right now. It's lovely. Go and heal yourself, Malon Raider, quickly. I need you back in the fight. In fact, actually, I can probably just risk going north and plundering to heal instead. That could be quite fun. But in the meantime, don't mind me if I just nab Mexico City. Lovely. My factories are going to be working just a little bit harder. And that diplomacy favor sell along with like some other resources. I mean, the world isn't really buying anything of mine at the moment for very much money, which is a little bit unfortunate. But what are you going to do? Can I buy a coal power plant? Yes, I can. Seven power in this city. 
Ah, oh, Ruhr Valley, that's going to be such an improvement on this city. It really will be. This is one of the rubbish apostles. So I am going to evangelize belief. And seeing as we've already got seven cities following my religion, and I went Jesuit education, I'm going to just mix that together with pilgrimage. 14 more faith per turn, which means I can start using my faith to produce universities and other fun buildings like that. Look at that. Eight extra science. Yum. The power plants turn on and suddenly we become an industrial powerhouse. Oh yes, Ruhr Valley, get finished, get done quickly. Second apostle, evangelize belief. This time it's going to be a building and I think we want an amenity in my nation. Let's get stoop. Oh, is that actually worth it? No, let's get mosque. I'm unlikely to have many holy sites. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get many holy sites at all. So I'd rather have the ones that I do have giving me more charges on my missionary. So I haven't got to buy as many. I think that works well. I'm also going to launch an inquisition. That means if Canada start to, here we go, move some of their missionaries anywhere near me, I can start to do some fun things. There we go, chop this forest down, and then I can start to rush Kilwa. 34 turns to finish that. Don't worry, we have builders. I'm going to basically chop this out if we can. We've got a lot of woods around the city. I would like to just rush it through. I was going to do it with great engineers, but we really haven't had any decent great engineers at all. It's been rubbish. Here's another settler in this city as well. And I'm going to go and settle the space between the cities where Ulm once was. In fact, you can actually still see, you can still see the walls. Oh, that's tragic. That's really sad. Oh, never mind. All things die. <laughs> <laughs> including Germany. Right, build a spam. We've got Liang in the city. That'll be magnificent. The arena is finished. Beautiful. Can we still build Colosseum? I can in seven turns. Ooh, exciting. I need to actually just sell a little bit again. Goodness me, we need so much gold this run and I need to build more things that make me gold. But there is the Colosseum in the space that I wanted it. Seven turns. Okay, it's going to be a tough one, but I think we can get that working. Voting time and oh yeah, city center buildings. Thank you so much. And I'd love to be able to produce buildings faster. Mitigated flood. Amazing. Did it go through? Did it go through? Production 50% cheaper. Perfect. That and chivalry means that I can actually produce some knights really quickly. Not knights. What am I talking about? Malon Raiders. Here we go. Oh, Scythe is going to get such a headache from this. And spread my religion. Bam. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. If this city is going to work, it needs to grow quickly. So I'm thinking, is there anything to chop that would give me food? Rainforest? Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. She keep chopping out in this area. I'm going to go and settle on this tile instead. Gives me a little bit more room. A little bit more wiggle room. Ah, here goes nothing. Okay, Moksha, off your pop. I need you to keep this city safe for me. Thank you so much. And we're going to go monument immediately. Got a lovely seven production coming in from the factory that I built. And I think we'll be able to just keep pushing that one a little bit later. I think Mexico City. Yep, Mexico City is still there. That's looking lovely. In fact, I need just one more envoy. Mexico will be doing me lovely six envoy wonder stuff. As economics, chemistry means replaceable parts. I I haven't got line inventory. Again, if I get line inventory, it'll replace my Malon Raiders, and I just don't want that. It's just, they're so good. The replaceable parts will have to be hand built, and then chemistry. I should have an alliance going to level two very soon, you'd think? No, actually, is the answer. I really have not been treating my alliances well at all. Never mind. Keep on pillaging. Oh, 400 gold for a good pillage there. Lovely, and 100 from the trader as well. Yum. Has Germany fixed its stuff yet? Uh, no. Actually, no, it's actually looking more pillaged than it was before. I swear Arkin had fixed its stuff. Clearly not. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Let's just chop this rainforest. And here is Ruhr Valley. This is my new capital city. And this is 20% extra production in that city. I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. That is wonderful. One production as well for each mine and quarry. I have a bunch of mines and quarries in this city. This is so unlike me. Like, I've actually got some really good stuff in that city. Look at that, 97 production, and we have a 50% modifier. 50%, right, that's 20% from Ruhr Valley. That is 15% from Mapuche's ability, and 15% extra from Casa because it's a city with a governor in that isn't on my original capital. Oh, lovely. Okay, original capital, original continent. You know what I mean. 
Perfect. Well, there's another three housing and one amenity available from another dam. So I'm thinking about just building another dam. It's only four, yeah, four turns. And actually any three amenity I can take in this city is brilliant. Entertainment complex will probably come shortly after. When I just realized that actually in my new capital, I can put another university in there for 500 faith. Yeah, why not? 177 science. I believe I'm a science leader. I am. Yeah, my science output is actually world leading, but I'm also pillaging a bunch of science as well. So really, I'm doing a great job. I actually didn't take a military alliance this time with Grand Columbia, which is a bit frustrating, but what can you do? We did it! Colosseum! Two culture, loyalty, and immunities to all city centres within six tiles. Now this is the sort of thing where if you do it, it's on your capital, it's on all your productive cities, you can just absolutely accumulate a bunch of extra everything, which is just wonderful. So just to remind everybody, that is one, two, three, four, five of my cities that get that bonus. Now normally six is a pretty good result, but five I will take. We're down to two luxuries in this city, which is good. And actually, I think temporarily my capital was showing as happy. Oh, that might actually stay as happy. Oh, hopefully so. I'm actually going to very briefly try and rush through Forbidden City in this capital. Like, if that can, if that can work, we can do that. That would be just awesome. Still chopping away at Kilwa, another 111 production. Ooh, four turns away. Almost there. Now, Kilwa's not going to be super helpful, being absolutely honest with you, because we've got a real array of city-states. But what I can do is we've got control of Mexico City, and if I can liberate Buenos Aires at some point, that would be another 15% production in my capital. That's what I'm aiming for here. So there are options, there are things that we can do. I am now beginning to start really well and truly raiding once again into Scythian territory. Now there is a city there. I believe the loyalty is pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately the loyalty is proving problematic. But if I can just get to that farm, I can heal that Malon Raider. I've got another, like three Malon Raiders just about to come in as well. So there's nowhere they're going to be able to escape. And let me just quickly take Charismatic Leader off and put Visselbanken on, as well as Republican Legacy, which is doing a lot more for me these days. I like it. And I'm going to get Craftsman going for my big cities. Look at that. Forbidden City is looking a lot better now. And that trade route with my ally is going to give me food and production into that city once it all generates. Look at that. Three extra production. Oh yes, 134 production. Can we get Forbidden City finished? It is going to be quite the rush. Yep, look, they're attacking my unit. That's fine. That's fine. They've left themselves open so I can now raid again. And what they've also done... Oh, I've just uh, converted the city whilst at war. Good chunk of era score. But actually, that was we were in the golden age already. But I can now pillage. Bring my great general up in a second, actually, as well. I'm going to move you into the territory. Move the great general up. And now... My units are reinforced a little bit more. Actually, we're going to move away again, but I'm almost there now, which is awesome. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. Ooh, any map with Bermuda Triangle in is amazing. If I can just find who found that. I mean, oh, okay, it's right next to... It was actually Jerusalem ship. I'm just thinking <laughs> what I could do is just immediately levy the ship and throw it through, just because I think it's almost a sort of compulsory element, really. Oh, well, maybe a little bit later. Forbidden City, this is going to chuck 166 production at it. Nice! And then I'll put another mine down there in a second. And here we go. The pillaging restarts. Oh, yeah. 400 gold there. 400 gold there. 400 gold there. That's 1,200 I've just immediately stolen. Lovely. What does this city want or need? Some more traders, I think. Let's just get this city absolutely going. Don't forget, we have a growth bonus by having Magnus in that city. So that is awesome. And Kilwa, three envoys when built. I'm just about to rush my faith income with this one, which should be pretty cool. But I like having Kilwa. If I can take Buenos Aires as discussed, I should get 15% bonus production in all cities when producing things like space projects. So that's an awesome little addition to my empire. Plus, with my envoys, let's just get Mexico City up. That gives me the sixth envoy there, which is awesome. And then a Leventa or Vatican. I'm actually going to do Vatican first. But there is 15% extra faith across my empire. And this city, this city unfortunately is on my continent. So Casa won't improve it. But it's now got the potential to be a pretty industrious city with Kilwa thrown in. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I can put an aqueduct in all of those tiles. I can put a dam in all of those tiles. So we've got options. Okay. If I put industrial zone down there, then I aqueduct 
Oh, no, let me just check the dam. Yeah, okay, cool. Then I'll put a dam down on that tile and then an aqueduct down on that tile. I think that is what we need to see. Da Vinci, perfect. There's a bit more culture. Has anyone gone for the mausoleum yet? Nope, no one's gone for mausoleum yet. Now, can I build mausoleum? It must just be next to a harbor. So in theory, my capital could get... <laughs> it could get it in this lake, which is quite cute. That is definitely worth considering. I'm going to get Apadana vote first. If it's giving me a 610 Apadana, you know you've got to go for it. And these trade routes are just getting better and better. Yes, finally getting some reliable gold income. Do I want to save? Now, this is the question. If I wait and get Mausoleum, I'll get six culture per workshop as well as getting two Eurekas. But chances of me getting that anytime soon are quite low. Although Filippo is an option if I saved up my faith income, but that's probably not worth it. So I'm going to just use the engineer. There we go. And I've just spread my religion around quite nicely, which is a cheeky thing to do. In fact, I'm going to bring this redundant great general, uh, which she reduces my war weariness, and I'm just going to pop her and spread my religion over to Scythia, because that will give me a big bunch of the era score. I don't really need the era score, being honest with you. It's just quite funny to do. So Ruhr Valley's gone, Kill was gone. The only one I wanted to get was Amazon Scott, and we've got loads of space down to the south, actually. So if I can get Magnus one more promotion, that will give provision. I've got a bunch of production, so I should be able to just whip out settlers. Yeah, two turn settlers. Perfect. I can go and make a snowy, you know, paradise so that I can build that a little bit later. What's in the campus? Replaceable parts. Yay. And I can just pillage again. Oh, beautiful stuff. Well, chemistry is now on the way. Don't forget, I do have Jesuit education. So my faith that I'm accumulating here, I will be able to very nicely turn into research labs given enough time. There's 172 production I can whip towards the Forbidden City. Now Sidon is actually making Forbidden City and it looks like at the front there are some little bits being built. If I just sort of familiarize it with what I'm building, where are you? Uh, I think I'm just ahead, but I'm not that far ahead, so I will just, bam, do that quickly. And, oh yeah, no, we're ages ahead now. That's good. How good is a mine? I think this should be one, two, three production plus one. So that should go to a five production tile. Yes, that's what we want to see. We did it. Forbidden City, one extra wildcard policy slot. Yes, this is good. This is good. I like wildcards. Especially when we get into the late game governments, if I went communism or if I went democracy, it just helps to pad it all out, which is lovely. Plus, I know that at least two people were trying to build that wonder, so the <laughs> amount of smug uh, yeah, smugness I have just going, hee hee, I got it, is brilliant. Here we go. Gonna throw in liberalism. Now, I know I'm a good big fan of any cards that give extra immunities, but if I can just push, yes, yeah, some of these cities, there we go, into being ecstatic again. Oh, it's just, it's amazing. This is, that's worth um, another 10 production per turn. Just that one amenity. Uh, have we finally got to the point where we're not using luxuries? Nope, we are still using luxuries in the city. I need to just keep improving it. Charles Darwin, gain 500 science, each natural wonder here. Now, I know of obviously there's a three tile natural wonder there, but I can only get two of them. But have we got any four tile wonders? Giant's Causeway, Cliffs of Dover, and Bermuda, no. Actually, two is the max on this map. It's a bit of a shame. Never mind. We might as well utilize what we have, eh? Oh, I was actually thinking about switching to Reformed Church. I didn't do that. Eh, okay, I'll do that in a second. I really like the idea of getting a discount on faith purchasing when I get research labs. I think that'll be a really good little combination there. Oh, look, that's the Apadana. I'm kind of sat on it because I know that I'm building it. I'm like, no, no, this is mine. A pillage, a pillage. Mmm, tasty pillage. And Darwin goes bam. Look at that. We just spread our religion around even more, which is quite entertaining. And we now have research labs. First one I'm going to do is in my city with Pingala next turn. 880 faith. Although, again, if I can switch governments, which is still rather expensive at the moment, should be able to do that a lot cheaper. Um, there's also, let's just reduce my war weariness. Uh, you know, this is one thing. I've been at war with Scythia the entire game, and I don't actually know what effect that has had on war weariness. I'm just going to cycle through. Uh, oh, minus six I've got totaled up so far. Yeah, minus six across my empire. That's actually not as bad as I thought it might be, considering how long we've been at war. But okay, never mind. Oh, it pains me so, but a certain disgusting place needs to be built, so I shall. Oh, 
It pains me. It pains me to do it, but I must. Right, actually, let's just build an entertainment complex somewhere as well. It doesn't overly matter where I put it, but I think I'm going to put it around about this sort of area because, and it'll affect the couple of cities on the fringes, which is quite good. But yeah, then I'll switch over to the, ugh, that place, that place, and then we'll have to go from there. And is that, I think that's in this city. Yes, it is. Useless stone. A chop. Professional sports boosted. Brilliant. Arena purchase. Now it says plus six. Ignore it. I'm going to lose all three of the luxuries, but this now cements the city into being happy. It can't really go below that now, which is just a wonderful. 400 gold pillaged there, and then we'll get a little bit of extra food, and we'll just start heading north, really. I mean, anywhere I can pillage, I will. Kind of leaving their units alone. Luckily, there are enough farms here that Scythia means that my units physically can't die as long as I look after them well enough. It's a pretty decent result for me. Can't lie. Now that I've got chemistry, I would quite like rocketry so we can start putting things into space. So flight, steam power, radio, rocketry. Yeah, let's do that. Now Germany has actually fixed most of this stuff, which is wonderful. My traders are annoyingly heading through their territory. That's not handy, but look, this Malon Raider is actually stuck and has been... <laughs> Saivia keeps attacking it and it's slowly dying, but I can't get out because Germany won't give me open borders because they've denounced me, the cretins, the absolute cretins. So we will not allow ourselves to be insulted in such a way again. I will take the opportunity to cause a few grievances by going for another formal war. They've also started to fix everything now, which is just lovely. So by doing that, I can now free my raider and then go and pillage that tile and then pillage that tile. So that worked out really well for me. Let's also buy the research lab in this city and I will pray in the research lab in this city. 242 science. This is where the game starts to accelerate beyond our wildest dreams. It'll be lovely. Oh no, my Malon Raid is almost dead. Oh, what am I going to do? What is oh no, it's fine. Hey, we're starting a world war again. Huzzah! We managed to get Canada involved as well. Oh, Canada. You say you love peace, but really... Every time I offer you a war, you're just like, ooh, a war, you say? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they're counterattacking on my Malon Raiders a little bit now. It's almost like Scythia is now fed up of what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, well. What can you do? Oh, that's actually my captured city is now the first one to hit 15 population. That's brilliant. Look at these farms I've got going up to the north as well. Yeah, I'm really getting some good food growth on my city. I'm going to keep just pushing and building it out. I've got more builders on the way to just make sure every tile is improved. 133 production. Annoyingly, we have just lost a luxury from that city, which is a bit of a pain. Oh no, it was just one of my amenities had been pillaged. We're back up. We're back up to happy again. <laughs> Panic over. There is flight. Oh, aeroplanes. You know, you got to love them. Oh, a Hansa. This is for me. Lovely. Oh, and Faith as well. Oh, beautiful. Just a wonderful thing. Oh, actually, you know what? I can skip my raid around to Hamburg. I've almost started uh, producing some more, actually. So, you know, don't worry. I'm not out of horses. We have lots of horses to go. Apadana. I am still a little bit confused as to why I decided to make this, but you know what? Sometimes when you're just offered the opportunity, you have to strike. Whilst the iron is hot, two extra envoys is always good, and my capital is probably going to produce more of these going forward. So yeah, we're going to just develop a pretty endless supply of envoys now, which is pretty cool. Now for once, I don't actually want the Grandmaster's Chapel because Jesuit education is keeping me very busy. So instead, I think I'm going to go Intelligence Agency today. Always good fun though. Actually, the letter as well is going to give me even more options to spend my faith on. So, you know, it's, it's all good. Every time though, every time a research lab comes in, it's like, hmm, have some more, have some more science. I'm like, yeah, go for it. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, I am Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Critties, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan. Thanks everyone.